Welcome to the Serious Shift Blogcast. We have only one question. What does Serious Shift mean to you? To answer that and much more, here's your host, Dennis Mosley-Williams. Hi, Dennis here. Welcome back to the Serious Shift Blogcast, episode number 129. Wherever you are, I hope you're well. My bet is, though, that you're probably feeling pretty burned out. I'm feeling really burned out. You ever find yourself sitting in your car, light turns green, the guy behind you honks because you're just zoned out? The other day I lost my keys in my house. I caught myself walking in laps, kitchen, dining room, living room, around in circles, just staring for my keys. I was on the third wrap around there. What the hell am I doing? You know what you need? And I need? I need a mental health day. <laughs> you know what the challenge is? At this particular time in your life, mental health days are completely bullshit. It makes absolutely no sense to stop working when we are all so busy. So I'm going to pass along some tips here for you, some things that I rely on when I know, when I sense that I'm losing my shiz. The first one is easy. This is the one that you're going to overlook and say, yeah, 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 I have no time for that. In which case, you may as well stop watching the entire blog because this is the most important one. If you don't do it, the rest of my tips won't matter. Ready? You need some rest. You're stressed out, whether you recognize it or not. You've been stressed out since March and you're miserable. And being stressed is physically and emotionally exhausting. Get more sleep. Make yourself go to bed early. And if you need to take a nap, take one. Figure out how to take one. Keep them to 20 minutes, 25 minutes tops. Trust me, every problem that you have will feel a hell of a lot more reasonable and solvable if you just get some rest. You're not a superhuman. You're stressed out and you're tired. My second tip, and these are all my own, okay? My second tip is look to the future, keep this stuff in perspective. Know the difference between short-term misery and long-term benefit. All of this stuff will pass. Your toddler will grow up. You'll get the promotion. The project will get finished. You'll learn new ways, whatever the hell it is you're working on. You're going to get it done. You're stuck in a moment, as my buddy said to me the other night. Keep the end date in your mind. Just recognize that. Just keep one step in front after another, after another. Keep moving forward. Don't lose perspective. This is short-term. This is not a prison sentence. Number three, slow down. Don't speed up. What I just told you a moment ago about catching myself, running in circles, literally doing laps in my house, looking for my car keys. We get busy, we feel the crush, we feel the pressure, and we go faster, and we know it's stupid, but we do it anyway, so don't do it, or at least stop doing it. Slow down. Number four, say no. If you're over-obligated, don't take on any more obligation. You know why you do it? Because you're crazy. Go get your head red. If you constantly and continually do that, you're punishing yourself. And if you're punishing yourself, if you're hurting yourself, you're crazy. Go get some help. Stop saying yes to everything. Start saying no. And the last one, don't sweat the small stuff. Okay, don't sweat the small stuff. Keep it in perspective. Focus on the big things that are going to make the biggest difference. The little things are annoying, but you know what? Shrug those off and give yourself a little bit of break. You're not a bad parent if tonight you order dinner in, okay? The other day I caught myself all wound up about this tree that my new neighbor is going to cut down. He's knocked the house down beside me. I'm going to lose a tree. Oh my goodness. I was all upset about that for a couple of hours one morning. And I called myself on it and realized it was stupid. Everybody, these are tense and tiring times. Let's get through it together. Be aware, okay, of how stressful... Uh, things are right now and exhausting that is physically and emotionally take care of yourself and the people that are around you wherever you are be well I'm gonna see you soon we hope you enjoyed the serious shift blogcast we would love any suggestions feedback on topics ideas or challenges that may have you feeling stuck also please leave a five-star review wherever you are enjoying this content it helps dennis out tremendously on behalf of dennis and the team see you next episode Thank you.